Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. For those of you that are into gold and excited about the all-time highs, get ready because silver is poised to make a move that I don't think people are really ready for. Now, when I talk about making a move soon, I'm not talking about tomorrow, okay? I'm talking about this, this next uh, era, this, this next year of 2024, 2025, because as gold moves up, it does pull silver with it. But the percentages on silver tend to be more impressive. But right now, gold's got the move. And I've got a story. I want to share it with you right now out of Yahoo. Check this out. It's entitled, Gold is having a moment, but silver is poised for its own morning from the morning brief. It says here, the ninja's got to wake up. Wake up, ninja. Um Gold might be hitting record highs, but silver is starting to turn investors' heads once again. The metal at at once precious and industrial has surged for four straight days, poking the $31 per ounce for the first time since July. While the 10% gain this week is already the best since the early pandemic days of August of 2020 uh, and is enough to secure a two-month high, investors likely have their sights set much higher. There are few reasons why the second place metal has potential. First, silver has slightly outperformed gold this year, but gold prices are still elevated with respect to silver on a historical basis. When the multiple of, of gold to silver reaches 80, many investors will look for buying opportunities in silver, betting that the ratio will mean uh, revert. Currently, it stands at 84 but was above 90 only weeks ago as gold was surging. Now, let me give you a little uh, update here or a little, little hint. I heard a birdie tell me that Eric Sprott had been telling his advisors that he was wanting to convert gold into silver, that, that that was something he was done. Now, this is just a birdie told me this. I don't have that you know set in stone. But Eric Sprott, obviously, of Sprott Money, uh, uh, the – he is so bullish on silver, it's incredible. As a matter of fact, I think it's pretty much made it his life work to uh, to invest in silver and to educate people in silver. Wish I could talk with Eric. Um, this is a big deal. Not, not the Eric thing, but the, this move in gold. Because as more and more investors and traders that aren't necessarily invested in gold, they start to see these uh, stories about gold and they turn their heads. And then they're always looking for opportunities. All investors are always looking for opportunities and they start thinking, well, was there another metal that's involved? And once, and I think it's very important because social media really brought this to the forefront that silver has more patents tied to it than any other metal in the world, right? There are more applications for silver and uses for silver in industry than any other metal. It's absolutely amazing. The way that it uh, conducts electricity, absolutely amazing. As a matter of fact, it is the uh, metal that all other metals are are tested against. They are um, they are looked at like how much electricity can you push because silver is the standard, right? And it's so important to understand that there are a lot of things throughout history that people sort of discarded. They never knew, like rhodium, when it was half the price of gold, you know, around the late '90s, early 2000s, and then shot up, you know, so many times worth more than gold it was insane simply because people figured out oh wait a minute we can't create catalytic converters without rhodium and some countries don't want to just ship it out at the current price there have been times like that and i think that silver quite frankly i don't even know if i have any with me are the most amazing investments on earth quite frankly i believe i don't have any with me uh silver is the greatest opportunity in history now that's hard for a lot of people to understand because quite frankly, silver has been suppressed for so many years. But I think it's really important for everyone. And if this is not financial advice, because if you can't scrape $30 together, 35 bucks together, well, you got big issues and you probably are spending more than you you make. And, and I even talk about homeless people in that. I know homeless people that have $35 from just panhandling. I think everyone should own one piece of silver. Why not? Matter of fact, it'd be better, be twice as good to own two so that you can clang them together and hear the sound and think to yourself because something's going to happen. I know this sounds funny, but when you actually drop one piece of silver on top of itself in your hand, there is a frequency of vibration that happens and instantly your brain goes, all right, something's different about this. This is real money. This is real value. This is real wealth. And once we could, if we could get everyone in America to just buy two ounces of silver, 
you know, maybe budget their money a little bit better or use some of that free government stimulus money. How cool would that be? All the people that are getting all this free money. Hey, why don't you go out and go buy a couple ounces of silver and go against the government? That'd be pretty cool. But I think it's important for people to realize that. Now, real quick, something else I want to touch on this story down here. Let's see if we can get it to work. Um, talking about the silver ratio and this, they're talking about this silver coiling for a breakout. Now you've seen here that right here, 1980, we hit an all time high of 49, uh, 45. And right here, we barely got to that at 48, 44. Well, I honestly believe that the third time's a charm. And what I want you to understand is here since, uh, the, Great recession, right? Around 2000, we're into a starting, everything was going bad. Uh, look at where silver is in the last, you know, a little bit over a decade, as opposed to where it was for all the way through 1950. This is a coiling spring. This is the uh, silver uh, December futures chart. Uh, sorry, the contracts for the COMEX. And I think that we are going to see higher prices going into 2025. Now that's not financial advice and I don't think it's gonna be a rocket ship. However, I want to remind people that the Federal Reserve just lowered rates to, uh, 50 basis points, which honestly means that things are really bad. That's not a joke. They wouldn't do that if things were good, right? And every time the stock market turns negative in a big way, silver futures and gold futures sell off. Because traders need the access to that capital, there becomes more sellers and buyers, and the prices trend down. And that happened in 2008. So you have to realize that if you're investing on fundamentals, you want to buy on weakness. If you believe in something and the fundamentals behind it, that's that's what gives you conviction, trading conviction. And when there's a sale, you buy more. It's what famous investors do, like Carl Icahn, Warren Buffett, and others but I do believe that everyone should own some. That's just me. Excuse me. If you want to link to some uh, company that I've used before that I trust to buy a couple ounces of silver and they'll deliver it to your door and it'll get there, I'll put a link down below. But the point is just go get the cheapest you can buy and uh, make sure you buy pure silver. I love pure silver unless you're buying junk silver, which is you know dimes, quarters, and 50 cent pieces that the government used to make because they had to stay within the combines of the constitution well they went outside of that and uh so i think it's really important that people have some silver let me know now below what you think about silver i think it's the greatest investment opportunity of a lifetime but that's just me and uh, i think that great value is found right in front of us so many times when most people discard it right i hope you have a great day the economic ninja how do i do this is out